Prompt journals are quick and easy to make and can earn you hundreds or even thousands of dollars a month. Let me show you how to create them. The first thing you need to do is select a niche. I've selected the niche of new mothers. You want to be very specific in the niche you pick so that you have less competition. So I'm in ChatGPT and I've asked it to give me 100 journaling prompts for new mothers, put the prompts in a table with one prompt in each row. So now it gave me this table with 100 prompts. I can now take this list and cut and paste these prompts into a book creator's journal tool to create the prompt journal. Now I'm in the lined journal tool. To get to this tool, you go other tools, lined journal tool, and I can set the size I want. I'm gonna use six by nine. I'm going to do 100 pages, so I have one prompt for each one of my pages. I'm going to change this fill percentage of the page. Like it could be about 90, that way I have room at the top of the page for my prompts. Go over here, and here's the space under title word settings where I can cut and paste the prompts. So I'm gonna go back over into ChatGPT, and I'm gonna highlight and copy all of the prompts. Then I'm gonna go back here and paste the prompts. So let's go ahead and do a refresh. And that's way too big, so I'm gonna make that smaller. Let's put it down to say 22. You can also change the font if you want, if you have a different font that you like. And then when you decide that on the font you want to use, and the font size, then you click on download, and then you can check out your book. Good, I like the way that looks. Oh, but I don't like that. So that means I need to decrease the font size a little bit or lower where the book starts. You can do either of those. I think the best thing to do here is going to be to move the lines down. So I'm going to do that under line settings and move it to 85%. Now to move it down like that. And now when we check it out, the ones with two lines don't cover the line. If you don't like them going over on two lines, then you can keep reducing your font size until you get them all to fit on one line. And now I have them all with the prompt on just one line and a nice blank space here where they can start writing. Now that I have them all on one line, I'm gonna move up the first line Put it back at 90. And now I have my finished and complete prompt journal. And there you have it, a quick and easy way to create prompt journals. If you have any questions about this video, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Your journey to crafting journals, planners, logbooks, and more starts here. Get going now with a free three-day trial at abookcreator.com.